everybody. It's Victor. Time to lead right here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. Hope you all had a great Thursday. It's like February 29th. What is this? A leap year? I don't know. Crazy, man. We're living in a you know apocalyptic world now. We got an extra day in February. What's going on? My Zoomer brain can't handle it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Here's your meme of the day. <laughs> Brought to you here once again by Reddit Smed at seven. Title of the thread was today's run reminded me of this famous scene. Sun card? Sun card! I'm sorry, Sun card! Yeah, it's it. The the Wilson memes coming in from the TM Trainer run have been just hot and heavy. And thank you very much, Reddit Smed, and everyone who upvoted that one. It is going to be 9 Sierra, 2 Lima, 0486. Man, what is this? this? This haircut rating is not going to rate well on the haircut rating scale. I can tell you that right now. Uh, well, we got Sister Maggie and Sharp Key. So at least we have five keys to start with. Um, we can use Sharp Key to gain access to secret rooms and super secret rooms if we know where they if they we know where they are. But obviously, a bomb is just way better because you know keys are pretty useful for a lot of different things. Um, like for example, I know that the secret room is here to the left of here. Uh, at least I'm, I'm like, I'm fairly sure that they can get us in there. I just want to try it. Yeah. Yeah. I also can't believe we took damage there. I was looking, I was sitting there trying to look at where the door was and, uh, didn't see that shot there. Um, but yeah, overall our stats, not great. Um, our damage is good. Our movement speed is passable. Shot speed is actually excellent. Really the only stat I should say that's not great. Great is our tears rate. Um, 2.2 is pretty low. Uh, it's not as low as Tainted Eve, obviously, but it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of low. Okay, so where's our item room? Is it gonna be over here? It is not. Well, I mean, it might be over here, I guess. Definitely want to get inside of this uh, golden chest here, but since we have such a surplus of keys right now, golden chest can give everything from items to just well, items and money and bombs and consumables, just everything that we ever wanted. Use the devil card. I mean, we can use the devil card for the boss. It's fine. And we've gone to the wrong dead end. All right. All right. It's beginning already. Uh, yeah. Get small rock. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take that. And I'm also going to go into the super secret room, which is going to have super secret nothing in there. Still looking for the shop. Still looking for the item room. But at least the small rock is going to give us a little bit of a damage upgrade. I know that I've said that in the past that small rock is definitely not an automatic take. And I don't. I still think it is not an automatic take anymore. But... In a run where, like, you know, our movement speed at the base level was okay to start with, I think it's fine to go ahead and, uh, we can use a bomb to convert to a key. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I will take a half price compass all day, every day. And, uh, all we need is two cents here. But yeah, on a run where, like, you know, the only thing bad at the time, anyway, was our was our uh, tears rate or DPS. I think I'm fine with taking small rock in this occasion, just because it's just like, yeah, the movement speed is bad, and yeah, the movement speed is a stat that I recent I recently I, re I frequently rag on. Man, my brain is not woken up today. I frequently rag on. Um, yeah, we'll take a tears up. And uh, you know, I think that the. I think that the benefits in this case outweighs the the negatives here um, because we're able to get a tears up. And that's the most important thing about Small Rock too is that some people kind of forget about is that Small Rock is a technically a tears up. So yes, it does nuke your movement speed, but it does help out with everything else. Um, and you know, in this case, like I said, I think it's worth it. Definitely gonna go for the compass here. Now I would love to get the dream catcher as well. That would be pretty pog, but right now, we're just going to go ahead and take the compass, obviously. Don't know if we're going to be able to get enough money to get the uh, Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher is nice because it gives you that half soul heart at the transition of every single uh, floor. But you can also see exactly which items are in the item room, so you don't necessarily throw away keys for no reason at all. I was just waiting for Limehorn to move, so... What's nice about if you get this arena that has the fire in it, you can do this and just run the dark matter balls into the fire so you don't waste your you don't waste your time in your in your shots especially if you have a low dps or just low tears rate um you don't have to waste it on taking out the fire it can actually be beneficial to you and negate the dark matter balls while you can focus on dps and lime horn like this see isn't that cool isn't that cool isn't that neat Get 
the divorce papers, which is honestly totally fine. Um, I would love to fill the bone heart, though, if possible, because we don't have a great... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get Dreamcatcher. Get a couple bombs, it's fine. Yeah, we don't have great protection against our Devil Deal losing, losing our Devil Deal on the next floor, but uh, the Bone Heart does temporarily help us out, so we just got to hope we get a Red Heart. We're going on to last week's question of the episode from the Heaven's Junkyard episode. I simply asked uh, the question of the episode, have you watched Balatro gameplay yet? At the time, that was when the Balatro stuff first started on the channel. And uh, obviously, a lot of people have watched it since then. But at the time, uh, the most upvoted comment came in from uh, uh, Methil, who said, is, I is Balatro a new Isaac expansion? Thank you very much, comment section, for always staying on point. Second most upvoted comment came in from uh, uh, Drugos. 767 who said, I've seen a bit of your gameplay and the game looks like a lot of fun. I'd be down for a series. Well, luckily for you, uh, Drew Ghost, that we, we did turn it into a series, kind of. Uh, right now, the videos are actually doing very, very well for a non-Isaac series. And uh, I'd like to get the series consistently to 1,000 likes per video per day. Uh, that would help out greatly. I've even I've even thought about starting a uh, like streak goal for Balatro. Um, I think that that would be, that would be something that I could definitely implement, but unlike Isaac, I don't know if I can like do crazy things. Obviously, I can't do crazy things with mods. Um, I don't know if there's a if there's a console or anything in there that we could say like, oh, we run all aces or something like that. Um, I know that there's a way that you can unlock all of the you can unlock basically all of the decks through the settings. I'm actually surprised that worked. Uh, but it disables Steam achievements, which, I mean, I don't really care about Steam achievements that much. Um, or actually ever. <laughs> I've never cared about them. Achievement, the achievement hunting stuff is just not my not my thing. Um, oh, baby. Finally, we get ourselves the D-Sizzle. Okay, so the Super Seeker might, or regular Seeker might be there, and it is. Not always there. We get ourselves a Yave. To fill the bone heart with a rotten heart. At least there's something in there just in case we actually do get hit. D6, of course, is a, an active item that is going to allow us to re-roll any item pedestals that are in the room. Um, you know, one of the most iconic items that exist in Isaac because it was there from the very beginning in base Isaac. I mean, like, flash Isaac. Very, very strong and such a, just a simple, a simple re-roll go, goes a long way. Like... The way that the D6 can change a run in like one go is truly astounding. Um, I have extra bombs here. Might as well get our money back. Okay. Not. Fine. There is a full charge inside of the shop though. So if we end up using the D6 in the devil deal, we can come back and reroll sharp key. That would also be kind of nice. I'm going to use the devil card here because red dingle was actually kind of annoying. We don't want him pooping up all over the place because it makes it a little bit dangerous upon exit. There we go. Latch key. I will take it for the keys and for the luck. The luck was negative. And yeah. Shout out to Stanley and these amazing devil deals. Now, this is something I don't, I really don't think should be possible. At least not, like, if you want to screw us game, like, I mean, you do it all the time, but like, don't do this in the first devil deal. Like, that's just, that's just a straight up, like, middle finger. Like, because not only do we not get a devil deal that we earned, by the way, not only do we not get our earned devil deal, we also don't get an angel deal on the next floor now. So we could have very easily just, like, not gone in there and have angel deals and been fine. But uh, instead, that happened. So I really, like, just it, it's just, it's so unsurprisingly annoying that it doesn't even it doesn't even register on the yeah of course there's no there's no items in our, our devil deal you know what i mean like it, it happens so frequently the same thing goes for shops or that super quote rare item room where we where we walk in and there's nothing in there except like maybe a trinket or two or like a penny i'm gonna go over here to the cursed room and uh see if we can salvage some kind of devil item yeah it's a funny game
Okay. And there we go. All right. Could use the full card to save ourselves a half soul heart. Uh, but I'm going to use the full card most likely to get out of a challenge room. Last but not least of the question of the episode from the Balatro question was Kevin Shuttle 45 who said, yes, and I've watched all of, all of them and liked them all. And then they put a, put a laughing emoji there, laughing, crying emoji. Thank you very much, Kevin. I appreciate that. The series has been, been doing very well. Um, again, for a non-Isaac series, like it's Balatro is definitely one of the hottest burning series so far since I would say Lobotomy Corporation. I know that the regular secret room is there where there are only bomb. Ooh, baby. Oh, man. Now, as much as I love the D-Sizzle, the D-Infinity is actually technically better. So we have ourselves a reroll target now inside of the secret room. The reason why the D Infinity is technically better is just because it's more versatile. We can use it to do stuff like roll with the D20 or roll the D12 or, you know, we still have the D6, but we also have like a full character roll in case of like things get really bad. No, I'm not, I'm not going to spend five, I'm not going to spend a soul heart that's worth five cents just to get five bombs. Sticky bombs are great, but this will give us five bombs without costing us a soul heart. It did cost us the five cents, but that's not the point. If we're gonna if we're gonna lose a soul heart, I might as well spend five cents that we already have and then get what we're trying to get, other than without actually hurting myself. Um and look at that, we just got most of that money back anyway. So we're incentivized to do a full clear here. And our high priority reroll target is going to be the secret room. I don't want to go in the curse room yet in case we do get teleported to the devil deal or angel deal. But we don't have a charge available on the D and fizzle. You go. If you're wondering, by the way, where these blue flies are coming from, they're coming from the rotten hearts that's inside of the bone heart. Every new room that you come across, you will generate a fly. And, you know, it's like, you know, I, rotten hearts get a bad rap. I am the perpetrator of some of that bad rap um, where I just don't like the fact that, like, you know, there's no half. If there were half rotten hearts, that'd be one thing. They do provide you protection against red heart damage. They do give you an interesting, unique mechanic um, with the with the blue flies. It just it's dangerous to have a lot of them because they go quickly and they do not give you protection like a, like a defensive protection. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, so we don't get an angel deal. We don't get a devil deal. Um, I am going to go into the curse room first just in case we get teleported in there. I, like, I almost don't even want to take it just out of, just out of principle. I mean, how many, how many non-devil deal, devil deals are we going to get, game? These Guppy's Eye, the, I, I, I'm going to be frank with you. The only reason why I took Guppy's Eye here and not just immediately left out of, just out of spite and disgust is because I wanted to see what was inside of that uh, golden chest. That golden chest hadn't been there, I would have immediately walked out and just given given the game a proper middle middle finger. That greed's gullet is greed bad. 
If you're tanky keeper or keeper, that's one thing, but you're not. I mean, like we could take Smelter. I do like, I mean, I do like Fanny Pack. Like I've got no problem with Fanny Pack. Fanny Pack is very good value. Freaking Smelter, we would smelt the, the blank paper and like, Mysterious paper, and that's great, I guess. Um, but it's just not, it's not what we, it's not worth spending 15 cents. For what is most likely going to be an item that is pretty insignificant when it comes down to it. Okay. First, the unknown. Let's play. Will we get a devil deal in this run? I have already seen the writing on the wall. The answer is no. I'm predicting now that we do not get a single devil deal. Actual devil deal in this run. I think that we are going to go. We're going to be blanked on this floor. We're going to go to depths one. We're going to get a 100% devil deal. That's going to either have a Krampus fight or no items in it again. That's tempting, but we simply do not have the damage to do this. And I'll also be more frank with you. I am really, really close to re-rolling re this run at this point. Because here's the thing is that we're on floor four. Or, I mean, like we're on floor four. We've gotten absolutely nothing other than small rock, which is by random chance, by the way, that we even got small rock and gotten essentially no damage upgrades. We would be in really, really bad, a real bad spot if we didn't take small rock. And that was just happened to chance because it was through, it was through a tinted rock that thankfully and luckily had a, uh, had a small rock payout in it. We have to use three bombs for this. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll take BFF, like Sister Maggie, it's going to help Sister Maggie. Like it's, you know, it's undeniable that it's going to help us out here, but. And I wish this was like Balatro and there was an item that like gave you like stats based on how little items you've seen in Devil Deals or shops. Because <laughs> we would be rushing it right now. Uh, Super Secret Room might be here. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Okay. We can D20 that if we really, really, really wanted to. Obviously, we're saving the D6 for our either boss item or we can go back and reroll the item room. I've already forgotten what was in there. A movement speed upgrade. Absolutely need that. I mean, I'd love to take Jello, but Jello, Jello ain't it, Chief. He ain't it. I am gonna take both of these because I want the cheaper Devil deal and Demon Baby, of course, because we have BFF and we get Horror Babylon. Oh boy. And curse the XL. But at least I was wrong about us not getting a devil deal, but yeah, we are absolutely re-rolling this run at this point. Especially, especially now that we have Curse the XL. And no, Guppy's collar does not sway my it does not sway my my I my choice to do that at all. So what we do here is we just D we we D four right off the bat. And let's just see what happens. Because the D-Infinity has now become our, our lifeline here. Squeezy's great. I'm going to leave Squeezy there for the possible re-roll. This is an XL floor. Even with the compass, we're probably going to be doing a full clear anyway. Just to get the full charges on the D-Infinity. The, uh, the 
Like Demon Baby, Demon. I will admit the Demon Baby does do a very good amount of damage with BFF. Yeah, so there is a full charge inside the shop, which is good. We can come back to it if we, if if need be. That's interesting. So the fool, we don't have enough for a quarter though. Like the fool would be good. The reverse card would be good. Um, if we had more money, because then we could create nine and pencil out a quarter. We already know that we're not going to need money for the rest of this run. So let's. Go ahead and rip it. Don't want to do the D100 because I don't want to reroll our stats. Um, okay, we maintain Guppy's Eye. We have Black Lotus, Dark Prince's Crown. It's hard to tell which one. Uh, oh, uh, Pound of Flesh. That's that's the other devil deal. Let's say it's hard to tell which one is our devil item from the reroll, but. No, found it. Now, luckily, we did. We have not taken a secret room item, so missing no being a danger is out of the question. Do not have to worry about missing no. We don't have to worry about uh, TM trainer. Which we shouldn't anyway, because they do not come from the same pool that uh, we have had all these items from. Let's go make our way down to the other item room here. And depending on how many rooms we have left before we enter in there, I may waste a full charge or one single charge on uh, from, from the D4. Because obviously, I mean, this run ain't going to be it, Chief. It's not great. Remember, we still have Squeezy waiting in the wings. Still have Guppy's eye somehow. Um, Eden's Blessing now... Eden's Blessing showed, it showed up via reroll, which does count, but I don't believe if we reroll out of it, it's going to persist. You have Pyro, but unfortunately, we didn't get the 99 bombs. That would have been nice to have with the Fool card. Black Market, ooh. do want card reading. I'm not going to use... First off, I'm not going to... I'm not going to leave the, the D-Infinity behind. What's happening? Oh, we have a uh, modem lag. Um, I'm not going to use this in the secret room because I don't want to if we're going to continually re-roll I do not want to roll into missing no or TM trainer so I'm going to use it in here see what we get I mean it's a it's a slight damage upgrade but not necessarily conducive of what we want then that is a perfect room for the D in the D100 uh, because not only do we re-roll the item pedestals but we also re-roll we also re-roll the um uh, uh, Isaac and all of his stats. Sorry, I'm sitting up here. I'm slouching a little bit. Now, before we do that, I'm going to go get five cents. And I'm, not, I'm now going to get three cents. The reason being is because with the reverse fool card, we can actually create a third item pedestal in that item room. Because we're at the point now where we don't need money on this run. All we need, all we really need is just stats. Lots of stats. Brother, brother.
Okay, so let's clear this room up here. I thought that was going to drop us some money. Did not. This fool's gold. Hopefully it has three cents in there. Are you kidding me? Hands off the keyboard. Okay, we did it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the D100. Okay. Then we're going to use the reverse fool card. This is going to drop our 25 cents and create the quarter. Then what we do is we use the D100. And get Cursed Eye. Still have Guppy's Eye. And yeah. Yeah. Our movement speed is insane. But man, our damage and tears rate is hot. Um, we're up out of here, Sarge. We are... <laughs> We are in it right now. We are we are knee deep in it. Oh, we don't have any money. All right. Yeah, I'm not playing with cursed eye. Even and that's an, this is another thing that a lot of people in the comments love to point out. Um, even with Black Candle, yes, it cancels out the teleportation effect, but that's not the main detractor, for me anyway, of why I don't take Cursed Eye. Polyphemus. Did get Libra, though. Two guppy items. And it was a very mild side grade after... A very mild side grade after uh, Libra. Okay, well, we're going to keep on... We're going to keep on keeping on. I am going to go back for Squeezy. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Scatter Bombs, BBF, Blood Puppy. Ugh. Come back, Demon Baby. Thought I was fast enough to get over the spikes with uh, Tooth and Nail. Turns out I was not. Only cost us a red heart, though. No big deal. The fool card. Now, the nice thing, even even though we 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 don't have a lot of damage, we still have the Polyphemus effect, the pseudo piercing. Epa four. If we end up holding it down enough, watch our stats. That's how our stats go up, despite us not doing anything. That's because of Epa four. So it's a pretty significant uh, damage upgrade for us to use Epiphore with Libra, but it's not significant enough for me to stick with. And we have Blood Puppy. And we also have BBF. I would much rather have BBF than Blood Puppy. That's right, I said it. Can you handle that, internet? Can you handle someone not liking something cute? By the way, yes, I realize the hilarious irony of us getting hit by not Blood Puppy, but BBF right after I said I would prefer her over Blood Puppy. Very funny game. Cricket's body. Number two. Tears rate looks really good, but that could be the product of Cricket's body plus a reroll of the D100. Not quite sure. Um, our movement speed is absolute garbage, though, so. Get to a room where we can actually reroll stuff without respawning enemies. Oh, we got Squeezy. Uh, Goathead. We are real fast, but man, our tears rate is real bad. 
I'm still gonna leave that squeezy in the chest. Can't tell what the what is the extra life that we have? Oh, it's one up. Okay. You're running out of possible full charges here. Well, at the very least, we can use we can get squeezy for the soul hearts, and then re-roll it. It's gonna be a little no. We're you know what we're gonna have exactly enough. Full charges. Because the the ultimate plan here is to go back, get card reading, and then uh, heck on out of here. I want to go into Super Seeker Room. This has been a long floor, but I knew I like knew it was going to be a long floor, though. We can create an item pedestal in here, which is good. Activate Horde Babylon. It's not a pedestal, so we can roll with it. Change the mom's ring. Because we already have squeezy, so the game replaced it. I mean, it's a damage up. It does give us a Degas rune, which I will take. In case we get Cursed of Blind on the next floor. Hopefully we just get a bunch of red portals and, and that's it. Okay, so do we use the D1 one Hizzle or the D4? I don't think our base stats are worth not d 100 So I'm going to D100. Ooh, we get forget me now, but of course we get a freaking cursed eye again, bro. Forget me now would give us an extra an extra two floors potentially, but there's no way for us to keep D100. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't do it. First eye is, is just is, is that unpleasant. This would be one of the few times, though, because our tears rate is so high. That I wouldn't mind having Cursed Eye if we had Black Candle, but we don't. Now, technically, yes, we could be re-rolling everything in here, but I don't want to do that because I want to make sure that we get card reading. So, you get card reading. It's unfortunate, but we're probably not going to hold on to it unless if we get lucky with the red portals. Even then, I don't know if that's enough for me to to warrant holding on to it because of Cursed Eye. We do actually have to be kind of careful here. I, didn't, I We have Echo Dama as well. I didn't realize that. I'm loving our movement speed, though, so I may end up just using the D4 next time instead of the D100 so we don't D8 ourselves. So we don't D8 ourselves and uh, maintain, like, you know, Ethan stats. And curse the blind. Dave guys. We did not get a red portal, obviously. And that's the whole reason why we end up holding on to that Degas rune. We had more HP. I'd totally 
like totally would just teleport around the, the level here with cursed eye the magic skin is is definitely d100 -able. If you're wondering what's going on with the charge meter right now, I'm tap firing with Cursed Eye to, to try at least to minimize the risk of getting teleported. Doesn't always work, as you've plainly seen already. We have. We've maintained Cursed Eye somehow. Good. And not only... Not only that, but we now have... Uh, we now have uh, nine lives and dunce cap. Oh. Yeah, remember, remember when I said like the teleport isn't the main reason why I don't take cursed eye? No, it is. It is, and if I don't, if I don't have, if I have the cur if I have black candle, I still don't want it because I don't want to do deal with the charge shot with tapping. We went from being right next to, right next to the boss to getting teleported to like Mexico from Japan. Brother, I'm not ready to fight bloat here. What is that going to fire? How about that? This is not fire. Just let Headless Baby and Blue Baby's only friend do their thing. Gonna leave PJs because we're about to lose nine lives, and I have no idea how much HP the game's gonna leave us with. I am gonna take Sanguine Bond only to get a Devil Deal to, to reroll through. Um, I guess technically we could continue to play Sanguine Bond and maybe get some permanent upgrades. No. This is working out great. Okay, we got nothing. All right. Now, it's unlikely that we're going to make it all the way to uh, the mob trap room. We go re-roll the magic skin pedestal in there. Because now we're down to one HP and also one life. And we can't lose nine lives, otherwise we lose it. We lose the ability to re-roll with it. So yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna D100 this room because I do not want to fight it again. Stop giving us cursed eye. How about that game? Stop giving us cursed eye. Oh, we got a fresh set of nine lives. Empty vessel, the quarter. Uh, Ouija board, Spoonbender, Death List. Our base stats are actually pretty good. Well, they'd be great for the start of a run. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. We do have Mr. Mega. The fun thing is that we have Mr. Mega, Bomber Boy, and also uh, Rocket Najar. So if we really, really, really need the damage, we can do so with pretty much ease. Like that. But we just it's predicated on us having bombs.
And we have Bob's Curse too. Wow, this is this is actually pretty it's actually pretty legit for a for a bomb a rocket in a jar build. Something I've never ever really done. This is mostly due to the fact that rerolls love to give bomb upgrades, just like Chaos does. I mean, if we get more bombs, I'm willing to roll with it. Like, it's it's more powerful than any of the tiers that we have. Um, and with Spoon Bender, and we also have PJs ready to go to give us a bunch of soul hearts. So yeah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm I think I'm I think I'm content. What is this? Nice, awesome, love it. And of course, that's that's not to say that we can't re-roll again because we have the D infinity. And but this just shows you like just how versatile this item is. Yeah, I'm good with this. I think that given the circumstances, it's probably the best we could have hoped for. We also have sad bombs too. What the heck? We have four bomb upgrades. Mr. Mega Sad Bombs, Bob's Curse, and Bob's or uh Bomber Boy. I'm gonna leave that bone heart for now until we find a red heart. We do get bombs back. And honestly, it's not gonna take a whole lot of bombs to to kill bosses and stuff. I have no idea what just hit me there. Thought that was one of our sad bomb uh projectiles, but apparently not. Okay, that one was because we were just too close. The bomber boy radius is pretty wild. Now what we're looking for is the is a D a detenable room. Um, so we want a big room that has a bunch of rocks in it. A D10, D12. Not a great D twelveable room. But I'll do it anyway. And not phenomenal. Judgment will absolutely take some HP since we lost some thanks to that health down pill. One and only pill we decided to take randomly. That was negative. We've had to really, really stretch our knowledge. Are you kidding me, game? Okay. Uh, let's go get that bone heart. I just wanted to get a red heart there just so we could fill that bone heart. And then we can protect it with the soul heart that we just got. Welcome back, Fanny Pack. This is the name of my favorite indie Seattle uh, fusion band name. Pick it out of order. Okay, we're slowly but surely making it through here. Definitely a misplay there not to, uh, whoops, not to uh, hit the tilde key again. Um, not to use the, or not to pull the, the soul heart behind the bone heart. It's already gone. You can use the moon card to get out of the 
mob trap room here. A lot of bombs. Do we have mom's key? We do have mom's key. Key game, thank you. Deacons make uh, the deacons make having death list completely, utterly useless. Okay. I, I do want to get that soul heart. So have a, a decent amount of bombs where we can use this to clear rooms. I mean, we just got some bombs back too, so I'm definitely down for that. And again, like the thing is, is that if we need to, if we absolutely need to, we can just still re-roll. But we've, you know, we've had it rough on this on this run. Even after having a re-roll, it still has not been fantastic. Brother, let's stop taking this. Damn it, brother. We're keeping our bombs, thanks. We ride or die with bombs. Kind of rough in there. Gonna make it unsafe for Isaac to be anywhere in this room. Yeah, that's a significant amount of damage that we're doing there. Okay. One more floor to go. Got the Eternal D Sizzle. Dr. Fia's work with... Does Dr. Fia's work with Rocket in a jar? Oh, no. Yeah. This ain't gonna work here, Chief. Um... I mean, it's a lot of damage. The problem is Bomber Boy. Yeah, why not? Sissy! How you doing, little sissy? See, but the problem now is that we are only on one HP. Without any lives. Um, yeah, th and that's the that is the problem with having nine lives in the reroll pool. Something that I thought that they fixed, but apparently not. Because if you get nine lives, you pretty much have to stay with nine lives. So we will re-roll out of desperation, but we're gonna have to deal with this. I mean, like this is our this is the best damage we've had this entire run. But we also only have two HP. We can also also stop getting green bloats. That'd be great. Um, go back and re-roll. The seeker room. Oh, we have backpack. I didn't realize that. Their child is an extra life. It is an extra life. So in and see now we're now we're in the nightmare of not only having a 
an active item that has to switch with the control key, but also we have the backpack. <laughs> So we have to hit we have to hit the control key like 30 extra times to get to the dice that we want. We got to be we have, we have to be vigilant. By the way, here's the north of the map everybody. So we're clear. 0.95 movement speed. All right. I definitely would consider this run a struggle bus. We've we've had it rough out here, Sarge. HP would be absolutely lovely here. No. Okay. HP container would be absolutely lovely here. HP container would be absolutely lovely here. Now we can use the Alge's rune. Well, we can use the demon judgment, demon judgment to get back down to a half soul, a half red heart interval, which is what we need. I will take Tammy's head. Their base damage is quite good. Having it being boosted by 25% and something we'd use every single room is uh, very nice. We do. Oh, we have Bloody Gust. That's why. We should probably go get that red heart up there. Get him, says he get him. All right. Nice. Okay. Go back and get the red heart because I was a little bit too close for comfort there with Cage. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a struggle bus extraordinaire here. Despite all the items that we have taken, this has uh, been shockingly, shockingly rough. Now, I would have stuck with the bomb build, except that Dr. Fetus, I didn't know that Dr. Fetus did that. Yeah, it's a funny game. Uh, crack the sky, absolutely, at this point. We're going to need something that can instant dunk Isaac, or Blue Baby in this case. Getting Lard here would be... Amazing if we could just get some HP. Hey! All right. And there's the entire map, everybody. Doing yourself a favor. Brought to you by your good old friends in Victor. There you go. Now you know the correct way to go. You happen to play this god awful scene. We pretty much have to stick with this build at this point, especially with us having the uh, inner child. I'm not, I'm not risking losing our HP again just so we can be Blue Baby. HP is very welcome here. Just get a full charge or not. All right. 
All right. Well, here we go. Just hoping that Sissy charms one of the flies. Great block by Host Hat there. There we go. No problem at all. Let's get the hell out of this run. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been a while since we've seen a struggle bus of that caliber, and you wouldn't think that would have happened with the D-Infinity, but man, I got to say, I don't think that we would have gotten through that without the D-Infinity. That's how strong it is. So I do appreciate all the support. Go check out the Balatro series, everybody. Your question of the episode today is going to be, what are your thoughts on the D-Infinity? Is it truly the most versatile item in the game, or is it just too annoying to use? Post them in the comment down below, and I'll read the next top three most upvoted comments on next week's video. Thank you again for liking, commenting, subscribing. As always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the pages of mine like Paradoxia's Blackheart, Charleston, and Headwound04. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta. 